In this video, we are looking at an endgame ninja using shurikens and the fuma shuriken as sort of a finisher. Uh, we are using uh, the Shadow Master version of Ninja just so that we can get our tools back. Uh, also, there's going to be some timestamps to jump around. It's been a while, so I um, will we'll try this out. Uh, but yeah, we, we use the Shadow Master because if you land a status ailment on an enemy, you get some of your ninja tools back, which is going to help us on boss rushes. Uh, so some of the things we have going on here, looking at our job affinities, we have Assassin stacked up for the agility uh, because you get extra agility after oh, Assassin 800% onward, you get more agility based on your job's agility and Ninja has uh, pretty high agility. Not as much as Assassin, but they, their agility is about as high as Duelist or Thief uh, or even Samurai, um, and, and Gambler even. So pretty high agility. And then another thing we have going on is, uh, Assassin 400%, where the longer you don't get hit, you build up stacks of, of break damage dealt that are in a separate bucket. So we're going to have that. And then we have Ninja... At this point, it's just for the stats. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the other stuff does not... Uh, we're, we're not actually going to be benefiting. Uh, even even the Ninja 250%, that does not stack with Lightbringer, Chaosbringer, Dimensionbringer, uh, unfortunately. so And it doesn't add to the break damage. Uh, the only one, the only route that does is Curse, and we're not using Curse. Um, uh, even Ninja 400% unfortunately does nothing for our build because we're going to be hitting the enemy pretty aggressively where I have seen some players that might back off from an enemy up to 10 seconds or so and Ninja 400% could be an option to help those players maintain uh, some offense even if they're backing up for about 10 seconds. Uh, but for any player that hits the enemy aggressively or often enough unfortunately uh ninja 400 percent no doesn't uh, benefit their play style but ninja 800 percent we get extra stats uh agility and intellect although in our case we're more interested in the agility uh this ninja comes from master points uh samurai 600 percent uh anytime a combo ability effect is triggered uh, it triggers a successful parry, and Samurai 400%, the parry causes the next ability to critical hit, and the reason we have that is because Ninja, on their first link, can make, uh, with the Katana Ascension Stance, you don't need to do a normal attack to hit the enemy with a critical hit. You can just start Ascension Stance, to uh, aim, uh, use that Fuma Shuriken, and throw it and it'll crit and that's that's how some of our crits are going to come in uh, in in case like the enemy develops resistance to status ailments that we we have going on uh, we have paladin 400 percent to negate poison paralysis petrification less the poison actually i'm sorry um silence silence paralysis petrification those three are deadly in the sense that they put us on the defensive for a prolonged period of time and we are not designed to survive that long. Uh, and then as a side effect, you also get Paladin 50% um, and 120%, just a little bit of extra break damage dealt, so we have that. Uh, the Tyrant here is uh, for three reasons. We have, well, two. Tyrant 400%, where you can critical hit with any action so once we land a status ailment we could start throwing shurikens and those shurikens will critical hit and allow us to take advantage of all of our agility and invisible uh, and just start to break the enemy that way and then we also have uh, the tyrant 
50% and 120% to help out with status ailment accumulation, even though our spirit is very low. Uh, anyone that's coming back from the second DLC, you no longer need a minimum amount of spirit to afflict the status ailment. Uh, you can even afflict it with the amount of spirit that I have, uh, even though some of these enemies want like 900 to 1100 spirit. Um, oops, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, we don't actually have the, the, the monks not there. The monks just there from the other job. Uh, looking at our gear effects, we have... Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. The accessories. We have... And this this next part is just for giggles at this point. We, we have the Hermes sandal so that during Lightbringer, or in this case, Chaosbringer, we get 15% extra attack speed and move speed. Ultimately, we throw our stars just a little bit faster. So, that's great. Uh, next, I have Shiva. Primary blessing from a badge that I fused over. If I did not have Shiva or Odin, one of the two, probably Odin, I would slot that on my gear. One of my gear pieces would be Odin. But because I do have those two badges, uh, Shiva afflicts slow. If I critical hit, and that counts as a status ailment, uh, an accumulated status ailment that re 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 refunds some of my <laughs> re 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 refunds some of my uh, ninja tools, thanks to Shadow Master. And then Odin's primary blessing, it's an accumulated status ailment that takes time to build up, and that builds up a damage vulnerability with physical hits. I'm sorry, physical hits accumulate a damage vulnerability that applies to all damage so we're not actually using it for uh, enemy weakness break damage dealt we're using it as a status ailment so that we can start critical hitting from any angle with the shurikens um, so uh, once per boss we get two status ailments uh, put on the enemy and get some of our ninja tools back to help us take out that boss. Or at least that is the hope. But uh, if I didn't have uh, the badges, I would have at least one piece of either Odin or Shiva. Probably Odin to be on the safe side. Next on our gear, uh, we tried to get damage dealt ninjutsu. And then you can either have improved effect barrage or improved effect invisible Whichever job has, uh, like, if you're going to use n Barrage on Ninja, then all of your gear would be improved effect of Barrage. And if you're going to use Invisible, like the way I did, uh, then improved effect Invisible is, is stacked up on your gear. Uh, and, and the reason for that is the, the, the damage dealt. Ninjutsu also affects break damage of the Shurikens, even though they're, they're about, like, one-eighth the power of a normal attack, so it's not very much. But um, we're, we're still going to try to push that. Uh, we have agility stacked up because endgame bosses have a lot of agility and, and we want to get close to like, I don't know, 1500 if we could. But uh, uh, Assassin is pretty much the only job that, that can get that high on their own. And then the other jobs might need some NPC assistance uh, to push that high. And the reason that high is that Merilith and Crayclaw, they have a lot of agility, so we're not going to be dealing as much break damage to the two of them, but we're, we're going to try. Uh, next, we have critical break damage dealt and during Lightbringer break damage dealt, because those are the two highest break damage delts that I could find across my gear. And, and they're also some of the highest values you can get in the game um, for break damage delts so just whatever uh if if you don't if you happen to ha if you don't have one of those and you have slash break damage dealt the shuriken is slash damage so you could have slash break damage dealt if you had it in high enough quality uh quantity also i have the fenrir summons blessing at the bottom N not even primary blessing which i coincidentally also do have because Fenrir brings out the most agility out of your relics or blue artifacts. 
It also happens to have a lot of strength and intellect too. So on this route, the intellect is helping me out. But um, yeah, mostly for the agility. And for the most part, my gear is ninjutsu, invisible, agility, during light bringer break damage dealt, critical break damage dealt. Just uh, trying to be a glass cannon because the hope is that I do not get hit more than four times, uh, well, more than three times consecutively or else I'm probably soul shielding once or twice and then I'm dead. And I accept that. It is the ninja way. Uh, next we have our command abilities. We have invisible so that we are less likely to be targeted, but most of all, we boost the critical hit effect, or in this case, the break damage we dealt a deal in a separate bucket than all the break damage dealt on our gear. So uh, it, it's uh, going to help push even the lowly shuriken's break damage even further. Also assassin 400% separate bucket. Um, I couldn't tell you if it was in the same bucket as invisible though. I, I, I don't have the scratch tests for that and it's been a while. Uh, barrage, more agility means we throw on one shuriken and it might hit anywhere from two to four times and that's extra break damage even though uh it depends on the enemy's agility the more agility they have the less we get out of our second hit and we might not get a third or a fourth hit uh, but on slower bosses like iron giant i'm sorry not slower low agility bosses like bk and iron giant we might see three to four shuriken hits per shuriken and on fast, or sorry, high agility bosses like Marilith the Crayclaw, just one, uh, one extra hit. And then we have Lunatic just to throw shurikens faster. And on this route, I am using Chaos Bringer for the break damage dealt that it offers. So uh, at this point, Utsemi is how I stay alive as well as invisible to avoid aggro and then either dodging or just ultimately trying not to get uh, too much attention. Ninja trying to throw shurikens silently instead of like shouting out shuriken and, and just letting the enemy know all of my moves and te secret techniques. And so if they survive the, the ninja assassination attempt that their comrades and allies will know. And then we'll just have a bunch of revenge ninja wars. You know how it is. Anywho, second job, master or monk. Because uh, the monk's focus increases break damage, also damage, but break damage. And master in particular lets you charge up to the fourth stage. So by default, one charge is about plus 60% break damage dealt. It's the same bucket as your gear. And the fourth charge is about 120% break damage dealt. Still same bucket as your gear. And uh, just kind of skipping ahead for a little bit, improved effect focus across our gear to push that break damage that we gelt, dealt, <laughs> that we deal even further. So uh, what is it here? So instead of like 120% break damage dealt, this will feel like 360% break damage dealt, maybe higher, depends on how the game likes to do math, because uh, I certainly haven't. But 360% uh, extra break damage dealt added to whatever we have here on the ninja with the 200% and the other 200%, oh, sorry, critical break damage dealt, during light bringer break damage dealt, and the ninjutsu, so 600% there, no, uh, almost about a thousand percent extra break damage in bucket one before invisible assassin 400 percent and chaos bringer and improved effect chaos bringer multiply all that so that's that's what and also our agility uh being contested because we are going to um ag agility is this kind of separate calculation i i don't know why it's like that but yeah Anywho, uh, just talking through it because I, I did show it already. We also have improved effect Chaos Bringer to get more break damage out of our Chaos Bringer. It doesn't affect how long it lasts or 
um, well, yeah, mostly how long it lasts. It doesn't affect that. It affects the break damage boost. And uh, the reason why you might not see Chaos Springer around too often is because uh, the builds got nerfed in the second DLC. Chaos Springer got nerfed to the ground in the second DLC so bad. And improved effect Chaos Springer was, uh, we'll just call it bugged. It was a piece of crap. 200% uh, Chaos Bringer at that point, uh, improved effect Chaos Bringer, only increased your break damage by like, oh, you hit the enemy 100, uh, 100 times, now you only need to hit them 99 to break them. That's how bad it was. But now, improved effect Chaos Bringer is a big break damage boost. Chaos Bringer itself is a big break damage boost. Uh, now the drawback still is the third DLC Chaos Bringer, you can only build, I'm sorry, when I say third, I mean Chaos Bringer after January 27, 2023, you need, you can only gain max MP through soul bursting the enemy instead of every other way. Uh, so only through soul bursting. So any build you see bef that's using Chaos Springer before January 27, 2023, uh, unfortunately, throw that out the window because uh, it will not behave the way it does in the videos. But uh, having said all that, uh, we have soul burst MP recovery across our gear. Be oh, across a lot of our gear. Because we want to recover enough max MP to fuel our next Chaos Bringer. I am sorry. Let me back up a little bit. So Chaos Bringer consumes all of our MP, our max MP too. I, I wish it kind of said that. Um, it consumes all of your max MP. It makes all of your spells, your job actions, it cost zero MP, which is great, except how we're going to be playing we're not using np for uh directly at least i'm sorry not let me back up we're using mp for command abilities but we're not using mp for our job action that's what i should have said but i want that i want that boost but here's the great thing even if i don't have that i still have my shurikens and i can still land uh, critical hits. The only thing I don't get are buffs, at which point I need to figure out where do my buffs come from. Or if I just operate without buffs. Oh my gosh, sorry, that was a raspberry, went down the wrong way. I hope nobody's listened to this with headphones, ASMR. Okay, uh, so let's look at, let's also look at the job affinities. And just kind of know that I, I probably am missing something here but i'm just gonna yeah i see what i'm missing now anywho let's do this so we have void knight 120 percent and the 50 percent whoops where'd that go because we want to increase our mp limit boost rate when we soul burst we want more mp or max mp uh, don't ask me why I have Void Knight 600% on the Chaos Bringer Monk, because I'm only going to be on Monk for like less than 8 seconds. So I have a haste here for some reason, maybe to just charge a little faster. <laughs> um, but you'll see that we still get to take advantage of this. But on this build, we're not actually taking advantage of the 400%, not, not as much as we should or could. We have the summoner, uh, one, I'm sorry, 50% and 120%, uh, just sometimes the chain cancel at the beginning of an untimed map, such as find gateway or defeat chaos monsters, something like that, or, or world map, or if you're co-oping, we, we have that. But then we also have the, uh, summoner 600% because that doubles the effect of Leviathan. Oh, shoot, what just happened? Sorry, my um, computer's trying to log me out of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and that doubles the effect of Leviathan. And in Leviathan, we have that on our badge in this case. Otherwise, we'd have one piece of gear that's Leviathan. And that 
recovers more MP and max MP when you soul shield, which we're not doing, and when you soul burst, which we are doing. So we double that effect so that we get even more max MP when we soul burst the enemy. And then we have the breaker 120% and 50% so that we get even more max MP when we soul burst the uh, enemy. And then something just to help us out is we do have Red Mage 250% so that we're charging faster on our monk when we're charging this, this super charge so that we don't spend as much time squatting and more time throwing ninja stars. And then we have the Dragoon 400% also so that we spend less time squatting, uh, charging up. I Ideally, I should have had Assassin 400% so that we're building up Assassin 400% marks. Sorry, why does that keep going away like that? I know why it goes away. I just don't want to admit it. Uh, the incre so that the buffs start building up even while you're buffing up on Monk. But for some reason, I don't have that. In the Rift, I will, but not out here. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze like 5,000 times. I'm just going to turn the mic off while I do that. I think that was only seven. Anywho, we have Gambler 50% and 120%. This part's optional, but I like chain canceling, which is pushing the job action button. Uh, I'm sorry, which is changing your job in the middle of an animation, like a combo ability or a job action. Um, most job actions, not, not Summoner, uh, Dark Knight, Paladin, or um, Liberator, not those four, but most of the other job actions, if you... Uh, change jobs while the animation's playing, you'll trigger a chain cancel. And in this case, you recover a random amount of MP based on your luck. Which goes well with you build max MP when you chain cancel, thanks to Summoner 120% and 50%. And then the last thing I have going on that I'm paying attention to at least is the Cyclic Warrior, six, I'm uh, sorry, 400%. So that when I do soul burst the enemy, I get just a tiny little bit of chaos bringer duration back and then if i super mess up um i have the cyclic warrior 250 percent where i build max mp not regular mp up to 200 once chaos bringer ends oh and then on this job for some reason i have lionheart so if i do get smacked um also, I just didn't feel like changing my build specifically for Ninja. So if I do get smacked while I'm charging up and all this other fun stuff, I can take a hit. But I lose Chaos Bringer uh, as a result of that taking that hit. So that sucks. But across my gear, I have Lightbringer Duration so that my Chaos Bringer lasts even longer. For a Ninja, this is a... You know what? This is about as long as a ninja anime episode. Yeah, you know, the one where they tie their shoes and they have a flashback for an entire episode. And then the character gets killed off. And, and it's like, why did why did we focus on this a-hole? Like, why? And why am I listening to this a-hole talk about a ninja build? Man, friggin' Ben guy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> why is he laughing at himself? So, Lightbringer Duration, so that your Chaos Bringer lasts longer. Buff duration is entirely optional at this point, but I don't like reapplying my buffs that often. Like Invisible, it lasts for 15 seconds. But with enough buff duration, maybe it lasts almost 30 seconds. And that's kind of nice. So yeah, those are our jobs. But let's look at the master points. On Ninja, we have Agility stacked up. Uh, even though the, the stat bonus for ninjutsu is intellect, and intellect actually does increase the break damage of your shurikens. Strength increases the physical damage of your shurikens, but intellect actually does increase the break damage of your shurikens. Um, but we are not doing that route, even though it, 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 it actually could help us. But we're going to put all of our eggs in the agility basket, and any intellect we have is coming from Fenrir and the ninja job affinity. We also have critical break damage dealt. And uh, apparently, I just haven't even uh, put the last uh, amount of, of, of crap in. So, yep, this is this is what we're going to friggin' do. Yep, all right, we done it. Dudes, hey, what? We did it. Ability break damage dealt and critical break damage dealt. 
even though afflicted break damage dealt does give you more than ability break damage dealt, but I don't really feel like doing anything with this. I know, right? And then we have the monk, where the we'll focus on the the two big ones. Well, three. Increase MP limit boost rate so that your soul burst recover more max MP. Soul burst MP recovery so that your soul burst recover more max MP. Lightbringer duration. So that your Chaos Bringer lasts longer. You thought I was going to say the Soul Burst Recovery more in Max MP thing, didn't you? I, I, I almost thought I almost did that. Uh, and then Luck is there because we're using Gambler 120%. The Monk is there because I thought that I might actually be using Sentinel at some point. But I scrapped it and I just didn't feel like taking the points out. And then we have the Buff Duration so that Focus... Invisible, Barrage, none of those things fall off that quickly unless we get smacked without its semi. Are we at 20 minutes? We, we're past 20 minutes. My gosh. Like I said, long ninja build. Uh, did I mention there was timestamp? Yes, I did. This time I did. I'm, I'm, I feel like I did. Anywho, having said all that, we have NPC stat sticks. We have Jed on Assassin because Assassins get the most agility. And thanks to Liberator 600%, he's giving us 12% of his stats, even though it doesn't show up on the UI. Uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, and as long as he's alive, and how he stays alive is through the Lionheart accessory that grants invisible, I'm sorry, invincible, when you press the D-pad left or right, the direction pad left or right, or if you're on the keyboard pressing the letters R and T, in order to make them invincible anywhere from 12 to 60 seconds. It depends on how much Lightbringer duration you have and how how high the buff duration trials are. Even though Lightbringer uh, doesn't benefit from buff duration, it does get penalized from buff duration trials. So uh, that's how they stay alive. And if they die, we use potions to bring them back, usually before and after. Or before a, a soul burst or after while a boss is spawning, something like that. Um, and then the rest of their gear is just trying to stack up things that give them a lot of agility after 800% or 800% and beyond. So Assassin gives you the most agility. And Samurai, or this could have been, uh, this probably was better suited as Ninja for this specific scenario. But Samurai, Duelist, Thief, Ninja, Samurai, <laughs> uh, they, 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 they give you the next most agility after Assassin. Oh, and Gambler. Um, gambler. And then across our gear, we have agility stacked up. For some reason, I have luck instead of intellect or strength. So if I really wanted this... I would have had intellect stacked up. I do have Fenrir across every single piece of gear, or at least I tried, <laughs> uh, but I didn't have a Fenrir helmet. Jed doesn't get too many masks. Um, and then I also have Lightbringer duration stacked up, or at least I tried to, for me, so that they, they last longer. Now, you can tell that I, I just fell apart with the gear at the top there, and they don't have damage dealt dagger combo abilities on every single piece, or even MP cost dagger combo ability, because I just did not care enough for Jed. Uh, sorry, Jed. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Saab. So I, I, I have Jed here purely as a stat stick. And then Sophia, I have her as a stat stick as well sorry miss post uh so we have the that that was an apology not not a criticism uh we have dragoon here for the agility but i also could have had ash for uh, as a as a pugilist or a monk to get the agility as well but eh, i went with sophia and uh same same kind of deal for the most part, she she has um, what are we? Uh, she has agility, lightbringer duration, and Fenrir across all of her gear. 
Now, having said all this fun stuff, we're going to go in. We put some trials on to make things a little uncomfortable. Uh, break damage dealt, penalty. Enemy stats, a penalty. And mission level plus for now. We're going to try this on the world map against a boss that doesn't have a crap load of agility. And uh, maybe over the next 10 minutes... Sorry, I'm just looking at the Discord. Uh, maybe over the next 10 minutes, we're going to look at some different boss fights. So I am going to... I'm going to apply its semi. Low risk. And because this is an endgame build, I can afford to do this next thing. Uh, Chaos Burning, Lunatic, Barrage, start charging up. Invisible. And then, uh... Oh, shoot. Well, maybe not. I talked a good game, didn't I? Anywho. <laughs> um, we could be better. So I'm going to have to wait for her to fully respawn. She's going to try to hit me. I am very vulnerable right now. One more hit and I'm done for. Oh, wait, I forgot I have boots in me. <laughs> well, well, that's not how the build video is supposed to go. Okay, so let's get less cocky. What is he doing? He's getting serious now. Uh, boot semi first. Buff up, lunatic, barrage. Well, ideally focus. Okay, switch to monk, soul burst. Reapply buffs while the boss is trying to spawn or before you soul burst. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it's done. I I I'm gonna just edit out that other part. No, I'm not. And then so enemy dad. And uh, this sounds like a horrible idea to go into the rift where I could potentially lose months worth of progress if I mess up. But we're going to go in the rift. Also because I haven't talked about the monsters yet. Um, so let's go into the hall of the great crystal, rift crystal, whatever it is. I, I forgot to look at it. Oh my gosh. Um... Okay, so in the rift, we have a few monsters. We have the goblin for the agility. Bonus if you have duelist, thief, and marksman up there, purely for the agility that they give. But also, oh, well not purely. The duelist also helps out because of critical break damage dealt. It's not very much, but it helps. Uh, the wolf for the agility. Bonus if you have samurai leveled up because then you get extra stats from, uh, extra agility from the excess. And then also the Ronin helps because you get slash break damage dealt. It's, it's just a little bit. And then there's break damage dealt. Uh, we have Coral because <laughs> I want to increase monster quest efficiency, except that on this build, I don't actually care about that because, oh wait, yeah, uh, we have, I'm sorry, before we go on the prickles, we have the, uh, the Behemoth because of, the actually we're not taking advantage of behemoth enough so normally i would have said combo ability stat bonus but we don't have very much intellect we're not very smart and then we don't we have damage delta bosses which isn't very much but damage delta is also break damage don't worry about reduced stat bonus or even the rat tail thing um and then let's see here we have mrs prickles uh she's the cactor 
And if you have Assassin and Ninja developed, which Jed's going to be on Assassin and we're going to be on Ninja, uh, we're going to get extra agility out of that 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 stat buildup. So what does that look like for us? Well, we are now closer to 1,500 agility, but we're also getting 12% of Jed's. So Jed, Jed there is giving us like 144 agility, I guess. And Sophia is almost giving us 120 agility. So that's an, that, that, that puts us over 1,500. And then if we really wanted to push this home, we could feed our monsters. Now, this is where I make the grand mistake and go into this null void with these horrible trials in this, in this video and regret everything. I say that almost every time. And it's because I feel like I mean it every time. But let's get potions. Let's get mega ethers. Let's... Let's feed our friggin' monsters some uh, summon stones. Now, notice I'm feeding Harpy, Cactar, Wolf, and Goblin the summon stones because they give you agility. But uh, to go crazy nuts, let's do Libring Liver for everyone else because, uh, again, this is an endgame null void and we're using a very inferior build. And I did die earlier on Tiamat. 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 So how much agility do we have? We almost have 1,500 by ourselves. And then we get the extra. So we're going in here. We're just, we're just, uh, we're breaking that first. But we're going in here. And we're going to do uh, Chaos Bringer, Lunatic Barrage. Even though Barrage is, ideally you would do Barrage after you focus, not before. Just but for some reason, I, I keep doing it this other way just because it flows better for me. So, best practices is Chaos Bringer, Lunatic, focus all the way up, then Barrage. And then uh, switch over to Ninja, and then use your uh, Invisible. Preferably actually use Invisible uh, Utsemi and Invisible first, but whatever. We're going to figure this out, this, this horrible space-time continuum thing. And uh, hope that we don't um, say something or do something that's so bad that we actually have to edit this video. Because, uh, yeah, if I have to edit stuff, it's never going to get posted. Like the last seven days. Oh, crap. No, not Death Machine. Oh, good. It's you. And now we vote the Sunnikin. Oh! I'm not here. Ignore me. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. Okay, anywho, we soul burst on the second job to try to get some break gauge back. If we see the target reticle go red, we use invisible. Okay, so Utsemi is running low. Uh, let's do. Crap. Oh, Sophia, no! Okay, we get Sophia up. Oh, she's already alive. Uh, let's buff up all the buffs. Ah, she. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ninja. First day on the job. This could be better. Do we have enough tools? You know, that's something I forgot to check. Do we have the tools for this? Uh oh. We're running low on tools, friend. I'm not here. Throw the shuriken. Okay, let's revive our ally. 
three of five buff. D pad left and right. See if we can land the status ailment. Oh! No, 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 no. Can we do this? Oh. Ah, uh, crap. So, we're not doing too well. I mean, yeah, we haven't died. Come on, please, let me Chaos Bringer first. Okay. Get that out of here! So yeah, not 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 the best, uh, not the best build, but I'm also not the best player. Oh, but we have enough. Um, we have enough ninja shurikens here. <gasps> the comet! Oh my gosh, that reminds me. There is a build that I need to make. involving the comet so I need to get the accessory I am so sorry the person that that uh, that requested that build I just completely forgot now uh oh he's after me Is that the third boss? Oh man! We have two more? Quit whining. Don't you want to play the game? Yeah. Big A! I'm not here, Big A. Leave me alone. Oops! Oh, I barraged on the wrong shot. Big A's gonna pull up that gun. Big A, big A. Uh-oh. Who's next? Oh, shoot. I'm drawing a blank. Throw the shuriken. Oh, I'm not Chaos Breaker. Ah. Throw the shuriken. No! Shut up, Ben. Can you just play the game like a normal human? No, I can't. I'm beating myself up. Jed, wait, I'm sorry. See, this is why I can't record crap. Look at what's happening to the graphics. This is bad. Rush me. You know what? This is the final boss, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did that. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. It only took us 13 minutes. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't remember where the accessory is for the... The, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh... Darn. It's Soul Crystal. I'm sorry, it's Lightning. We don't need that accessory. I'm sorry, Blue Mage. You're gonna have to wait. Anywho, let me back the up. Um, that's that is an end game Shuriken Ninja. Be very careful and play better than I did. Probably weave in the katana more because you totally can with that katana action. But yeah, I uh, I I hope that helps. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna end the video.